Hi, this is John McEnroe. Alongside me is Pat Cash, former Wimbledon champion, and we are pumped up for a great day of tennis. This looks like it's going to be an absolute ripper today. Well, you cannot get two more competitive players than this. Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal. To the left of the chair, Rafael Nadal. Federer elected to serve. And here we are, ready to start the match. Let's get into it. Oh, we stumped that forehand across court for a winner. Oh, no, that was just way too short. What's he doing? Well, player's down left third. Now, what do you do now? You try to just go for even more, take something off it, stay back, you switch gears that fast? Well, you think uh, the first couple of points have been a bit rusty, so I think he's got to be hoping that, uh, you know, gets a bit of rhythm here. Maybe not go for something too crazy. Just try and get a good solid point and hope the opponent misses. Well, that's a good serve right in the body. Jammed him up. Couldn't get out of the way. use the wrist on those volleys. This break point's absolutely crucial to get the serve in. Oh, he's just hit that too long. That's a fault. Well, this is a crucial for him, this second serve. Oh, he's hit the net on that... Forehand. Well, only two points away from the game. Beautiful shot, backhand winner. I'll yeah, tell you, yeah. that's a great effort to come back. Impressive, yeah. Well, the forehand clearly is one of his stronger shots. Uh, very cleverly done. Using good footwork, of course, to get around, skip around the backhand. The forehand, a bit more powerful than the backhand in general. Gives him a few more options. Oh, he's used the pace nicely. Cross-court volley winner. A good approach shot will either force the winner or set up an easy volley or smash put away. It could still really get your opponent off guard and uncomfortable if you catch the ball early and take the ball on the rise and come in a little bit before he's expecting it. That could really throw it. Oh, moving around the net for a volley winner. All right, Mac. What's the pros and cons of attacking the net? I know you love this stuff. Well, I love this, obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself well. Arthur Ashe used to tell me, cover the line. Cut off that angle. So if the guy goes cross court, you can just stick your racket out. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softer to give you more time to give yourself that position. Sometimes you need to try to rip the winner to end the point. Again, moving in quickly, making sure his opponent doesn't have time to recover from that wide position off court. Oh, to hit a backhand winner off that is not easy at all. All right, John, discuss the pros and cons of hitting your shots deep. Well, there's not too many cons, first of all. I mean, perhaps you won't be in position to volley if you're moving into net because players hit it so fast. So maybe there's a con there. 
But when you hit good death, it gives your opponent less time and he's feeling more pressure that he's going to come up with something special. Highly recommended to hit, <laughs> hit with death. Well, fantastic serve. That's absolutely bullet. He's going to make a mistake from that position. It's tough to get that volley over the net. It might have been exactly on the line, but it was hit so hard, nothing you could do about that at the net. Seemed to click there. A nice, easy service hold. And here we are, another game. Oh. Too much oh, wrist action on that volley. He's hit it wide. You got a player, love 30 down right now. You got to get a first serve in here, right? You want, you're desperate for a free point. Yeah, you got to. It's a, uh, well, you know, and next point, of course, love 40 here in real, real trouble. So looking for a big first serve here and get a quick point. Well, set point opportunity right here. back on the opponent who is going to have to get in the form pretty quickly and they're about to start this game oh that's clever play he's in a beautiful little drop shot so you're hitting ball straight up and down to your opponent why should you hit the ball to the side it's easier to hit the ball standing there when you know where it's coming than it is when you're on the full run. So you got to test an opponent right away to see what he's capable of hitting the ball on the run. And secondly, what type of fitness level he has. Because let's face it, as the match progresses and you start wearing down, it's tougher to come up with those running passing shots. Oh, he probably wasn't expecting that lob winner. off the court. It's a great rally. Well, it's a good effort to hold serve there, John. Here's what I like. That was some good, aggressive play. Good to see that. You also got what you see a lot, Pat, is this one-two punch in the game now. They got the big serve. They followed up with those huge forehands. A massive forehands. A massive spin these days. Hardcourts was always my favorite surface, Pat, because I could stop and start on a dime. Well, I think that's an interesting point because there has been some great attacking players serve volleyers over the last years being effective on on the hard courts even though there's no bad bounces not going to kick up there's no dirt or grass to to take a bad bounce or a bad jump we got such good grip around that around that net that, uh, i feel like there's nothing that we can't get Great moving, get across, thump that ball across court for the winner.
Uh, just didn't get that point cleanly. Hits the net. Cross-court volley winner. Game I'll tell you why I like that game. That was some good, aggressive play. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was great play. We'd like to see a bit more of that. And here we are, about to start up again. The drop shot, it's a risky play, and it paid off. Well, that's just a stupid position to stand there. Game point now. When you see him volley like that, you wonder why he doesn't do it more often. That's a great touch, isn't it? Well, it's a good effort to keep the pressure on here. Just a little drop shot. Ooh. Ooh. So juice again. Tried to sneak in, but he was uh, he was ready for it. He knew exactly what was going on. trouble for a while. It was looking tight there. It's a good thing he found his game before he gave up that break. Oh, back in into the net. Got to get over that. The easiest way to win a match is not have to do anything special. Just to go out and let your opponent do it for you. Yeah, but it's also, also, also got to put a little bit of pressure on you. You can't go back and play too negatively. Otherwise, they all get a bit of a rhythm. So it's Fair a, enough, it's, fair it's enough. It's a little good. tricky, isn't it? But play high percentage, consistent balls with some good depth and don't beat yourself. Well, he's crushed that one for a clean winner. Fifteen. 
Well, one big return, and the set's over. Well, two sets to love, but you know what? It's, uh, it's not the end of the game. Still going to have to be focused here, and it's amazing how often matches turn around if you don't focus right from the word go in the, in the final set. Roger Federer, what an ace. Heavily top spin rally there. Good play from both players. Trying to keep the ball deep and making the ball drop near the baseline. And game point now. Well, he really didn't give his opponent any chance. And... Uh, well, I don't know what he could have done there anyway. That was just a fantastic all-round game. Nothing. An awesome crossable forehand winner there. Cutting that angle off beautifully there. It takes a lot of touch to hit a shot like that. Oh, oh no, bad error. Oh, he was in the wrong position for that return. Oh, you loved one of those. The return winner. Game. No wonder he's fired up. Well, that's a great effort, isn't it, to get the first break there in that set. Well, he's in the right position now, Johnny, so he's serving for the match. Should he go for the lines or should he play safe? That's a great question. As you get to this winning position, and you often change gears here, but you get a little bit of tight and you start missing first serves and allow your opponent back in the match. The same token, you keep playing the same, you figure the guy's going to start to figure it out sooner or later. So it's a bit of a dilemma here, serving for the match. Sure. Time volley across court for the winner. Oh. Second serve's got to be good, otherwise, it could be a winner. Oh, an unlikely mistake from Nadal. himself really well here on match point. And that's it. It's been a good match and uh, in the end, it's all over. I tell you, there's an incredible sense of relief. You finally get that match under your belt. Every match counts. You want to get those nerves out, then you can start to let it go a little bit more and play your best tennis. Well, we're going to have to wrap up a fantastic night of action.
Unfortunately, you know, it must come to an end. This is Pat Cash alongside John McEnroe saying see you later.